Golang supports a thing called a switch statement. So instead of having like a lot of if statements, you could have an if sta uh, a switch statement, uh, which is a, a, a lot shorter to read. And I'll just give you a demonstration. So let's say we have a grade of the type string and it's American system, so A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, let's see, you were, uh, have an A grade. We could have a switch statement. So switch begin, and then we'll type if the grade is equal to A, uh, good job, right? And then you have if the grade is equal to B, then uh, could say okay, and could like include more, so. So now if you run this, the the code that will be executed depends on the value, on the condition right here. So let's just run that and see if it works. Uh, no. And you want also a default case. Um, so we've got a small bug here. Um, Line seven, okay. Ah, right. So now it tells us good job because the value of uh, grade is equal to A. So the, the string value or the text value is A, so the first block is executed. And it's really a block, so you can type multiple lines in here. So depending on the value uh, of the of the grade. So this is a way to quickly like uh, have a lot of if statements and not use so much space on the screen. So it's very elegant uh, to read. But the principle is like to have a lot of if statements.